Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. It's the middle of the week here, it's a Thursday night. I thought I'd come down here and give you an example of how much chard I'm gonna get. I mean, you can see these leaves. I mean, you know, in the weekly updates, you can see how much chard, uh, you know, I'm growing. But this stuff is just going crazy inside of here with these new deeper trays. So I figured I'm gonna harvest just these two. Well, I may only get one of these things and fill this bowl. But I thought I'd show you guys, and I'm gonna do a little fast action video and uh, show you how much chart I get off this thing. So I'll let it record and uh, I'll mute the video so that way you don't have to hear any noises in the background. But uh, just to show you how much chart I'll get off of just these two trays for dinner. And then what we're gonna do is uh, after Paula sautés that everything, we'll show you what the final product looks like when she uh, has the sautéed chard along with the onions and the uh, little I think they're mini portobello mushrooms all right so that's let's get started <laughs> show you how much we got so Paul is gonna be cooking down tonight and I only took just a few cuts off of this uh, rainbow chard because I wanted to actually thin this front out so that way these new growth uh, sprouts down here can get their uh, you know light from the, the LED light fixture and that's one of the reasons why I needed to thin these out is because it was blocking all the light and these were getting kind of scraggly and getting a little long and so now they should get a little bit more light and uh, they should be, you know, harvestable size in another couple weeks, and we're gonna have two full trays of chard. I mean, you can see there is still plenty of huge leaves left inside of here to be ready to harvest. So, you know, after this, after we eat this, you know, over the next few nights with our uh, our meals, uh, we'll come back down here and get some more of this chard. And I mean, we've still got two two trays of rainbow chard inside of there, as well as we've got the kale that needs to be harvested for salad. So, you know, tomorrow night we'll probably have a kale salad. And uh, you know lettuce greens, and we also have you know inside the mid-sized tent over here, we've got another couple trays that are ready to harvest for yes, our regular salad lettuce greens. We used a, a whole tray of it yesterday that I'm gonna have to reseed for this weekend. So you'll see that kind of stuff in the video updates for this week. All right, well this has been Brian from PNB Homesteading. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna have a great night and a great dinner. But uh, the second part of this video will show uh, what this looks like when it's cooked down and Paula has it ready to eat. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, here we are. Paula cooked the chard. She cooked it down. This is what it looks like. All of that that was in that bowl. She got the mushrooms, the onions, and everything in it. And this is what we we'll eat for dinner. Oh, and our sun-dried tomatoes that from last summer. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna flip it around. <laughs> it's Brian from P&B Homesteading with the beautiful Paula. I <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I was going to put my... Uh...